Hey, what's going on everyone? So in today's video, I wanna check out some Japanese games, see how they play on the analog pocket compared to the original Game Boy Light tier that was only released in Japan. So quick on these, some of these games I'm gonna be checking out. I got Japanese Pokemon Sapphire, Japanese Pokemon Emerald, Japanese Pokemon Ruby. And I got the original three Japanese games here. Red, blue, green. I also have a One Piece game in the analog pocket now and a Dragon Quest here. And then mind you, this is with the light on. There you go. It's with the light on. Now back, back after the Game Boy was, Game Boy Pocket was released, they released a Game Boy Light, which was not released on the East, which is too bad. I would have preferred that. I think you have some light. And then they didn't include it in in the uh, Game Boy lineup to the Game Boy SP. So, I've heard sometimes that some people had issues with some foreign games. Uh, this one works just fine, like, as you can tell. Starts up, no problem. Obviously, the Game Boy Light's gonna work, no problem. It's, it is original. But look, this game here works very good. Later on, I want to try and get some European games and PAL versions just to check that out and see how that plays. But so far, I would say Japanese games I have work perfectly. Granted, unless you understand Japanese, everything's in Japanese. This here is actually a counterfeit. Japanese game that I was able to find when I was a kid, probably back in now 2000 or something like that. So this is this was a good game. Granted, I didn't have many options when I was a kid. Picked it up at, at like a local bodega in the city. Now look, just like the original games, you gotta sometimes clean it out. There you go. Yep, it looks like uh, the game was made back in January 8th. 2000. Was that going on 22 years now? A little Dragon Ball Z game. And look, it looks looks like it works just fine. All right, let's try the next one. All right, here I'm putting in Emerald. You can see. I should hold a second. I gotta restart this real quick. All right, so Emerald one's just fine. And the year looks like, I <laughs> can't really say what that is, <laughs> but the save game is there. I think it might be saying that the battery is dry, which I wouldn't be surprised. The battery is probably dry after all these years. Some of these games are very old. This one also works just fine. I was like, I gotta load this one. Same thing, old games. Some things do not change. Yeah, looks like it's working. Oh, yep, yeah, there you go. It starts up. And yeah, it's got a little bit different than what the regular red version we have in the States. Yeah, save game is still there. Same old beginning. That does work very good. All right. I gotta say, the analog pocket, the way it plays these original games is beautiful, especially the Game Boy Color games. That really is amazing, the way it looks. I really do like it. Let's put this one in. This is Dragon Quest for Game Boy Color. Now, if you notice, Japanese ones, there are some of their Game Boy Color cartridges came in black, unlike the States that was kind of like that clear black see-through but it is game boy color and you can tell it recognizes it as game boy color everything is in color now just like in the in the states some of the game boy color games can play on the older hardware like it did on the game boy light but clearly it looks much better in color 
Okay, let's you know, let's put in. Let's try Pokemon Blue. Let's have put Pokemon Blue in this one here. All right. I tell you, this Game Boy Light here was not easy to find. I had to win it in an auction site, in, in a Japanese auction site, which then I had to pay nice import fees. But it's cool to have the original Game Boy Light, considering that this is not an easy one to find. And this was end up being bundled with a Game Boy Pocket that I bought as well. Clearly, it's obviously it's very old. So compared to the game, to the analog pocket, it's not gonna look as good, but it is original. And that, and then that you can't buy anything with that nostalgia right there. You just, if you wanna switch the light, there you go, now the light's off. It's it harder to see though, so put the light back on. Same starts, everything's the same. All right, so this was just a quick video showing some older Japanese games. I guess we could try one more. Let's put Ruby in just to show you Ruby works fine. Sapphire one just doesn't have a sticker on it, but everything else seems to work just fine. So I'm very sure that Sapphire works just fine. Same thing as the other one. It looks like I got to replace the battery. The battery needs to be replaced. And if you don't replace these batteries when they dry up, Essentially what happens is you won't be able to get the berries in the games. So that, that requires a real-time clock. Everything else saves normally because I don't think there's a normal clock there. Yep, there you go. All right. Thank you, everybody, for watching the video. Please like and subscribe.